hi everyone welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking this video in today's tutorial i'll be making a wrap skirt diy wrap skirt very easy to create and it's beginner friendly so we'll be needing this measurement the waist the hip measurement the length and the ruffles length okay so here i have my pattern paper folded can you see it's folded so i'm going to take another pattern now a single one this time around then I'm going to align the edge close to the folded part here. Okay, just place it like this. You can pin it down, but I'm just going to use my rulers to just hold it down. The next thing I'm going to do right now is to create a margin at the top area here. So I'm going to mark one inch down from the edge like so then here also then i'm going to connect the point with my ruler on the line i'm going to start by dividing my waist measurement into four so i'm going to take it 31 divided by four so i'll just mark it like so then i'll add my seam allowance i'm not using that but if you like you can use that one inch you can actually use one and a half as your seam allowance size seam allowance so now i'll come down by eight inches that will serve as my hip line okay then i'm going to connect the point on this hip line i'm going to divide the hip measurement by four then i'm going to mark it then i'm going to add my size seam allowance which is one inch okay So the next thing now is I'm going to take the length of the wrap skirt. The length I'm working with is 25. Then the ruffles length is 4. So I'm going to minus 4 from 25. So I have 21 inches. Then I'm going to add half an inch to it. That will be 21 and a half. So I'm going to mark 21 and a half from here down. 21 and a half. Okay. So I'm going to connect it. You can decide to create a straight wrap skirt, but because I want a pencil one, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the overall measurement I have here, which is quarter to 11 inches. I'm going to minus one. Uh, so I'll come here and take a quarter to 10 inches like so. So I'm going to connect it now, waist to hip, then to the hem. On the waist, we need to add the seam allowance, which is half an inch. So I'm going to mark half an inch on this top margin. Then I'm going to square my line. So now I'm going to just join it like so. So we're done. So I want to cut it out. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this one. I'll place it on my fabric and cut on fold. Then this now, before I cut on fabric, I'm going to open it. Then I'm going to shape it the way I want the curve, the front curve to be. Just from the waist here, straight down to the hem. All right, so to shape it now, I'm going to minus the seam allowance. The size seam allowance. Okay. Um, this is one inch. Then I'll add the half inch for joining the ruffles so i can decide to use my ruler to just slant it straight down you can create whatever shape you want but because i want a slight curve i will just eyeball it from this half an inch then i'll just curve it slightly to the hem so now i'm going to cut it out Okay, like I said, I'll be cutting this on folded fabric. I'm going to fold my fabric again, then place it again and cut another one because we want two pieces of this on fold. Yeah. 
so this we are not going to fold so now i'm placing it flat on the ankara on the right side of the ankara because i want the tying of the rope to be on the left hand side so now we just cut Okay, it is this is one piece okay then the this other one I have two pieces on fold so one is going to serve as the back and one is going to serve as the front all right so I'll be placing it on each other like so and this will be the overlapping okay so then I went ahead and cut two strips of fabric um, two and a half inches in width then the length can be as you desire depending on how long you want the the, the rope to be okay so i think i have about 20 something here so the next thing now what i'm going to do is to first stitch the rope i'm going to fold it like so then i'm going to stitch it it depends on how wide you want your rope to be after stitching the ropes i went ahead and turn it inside out okay then the folded pattern i'm placing it on each other right side facing right side then I'm going to insert the rope like this. Just place the rope like this, leaving it like half an inch up. Then I'm going to place it together, then stitch on the seam allowance, which is one inch. Then I'm going to open it up like so. I'm going to now place the overlap. This overlap fabric. All right, I'm going to turn the right side, facing right side like so. Okay, then I'm going to stitch on the seam allowance which is one inch then i'll be right back this is it after stitching the sides so the next thing now is to cut the ruffle so i'm going to measure from this edge straight down to this other uh, hem here whatever i have i'm going to multiply by three that will be the width of my ruffles you can actually use two it depends on how full you want the ruffles to be here I have two strips of fabric that I want to use for the ruffles. So I'm going to join it together. Then after joining, I'm going to run a basic stitch at one edge, which is also the garden stitch. Then I'm going to pull to the desired measurement. The measurement I measured earlier along uh, this side of the skirt, I'll pull it to it, then I'll be right back. All right, so I have the gathers here. Okay, then I went ahead and roll hem the bottom. I roll it twice, okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the remaining, the other rope, okay, you know, we've used one before, so this other one, I'm going to place it like this, leaving half an inch up, then I'm going to place the ruffles on it, right side facing right side, I'm going to place the right side on it like so, then I'll stitch all the way, okay, to this uh, edge. Here it is after fixing the ruffles and the rope. There's a seam allowance here, which you can just uh, weave the edges and leave like that, or you roll it twice, like so, for neat finishing. But before that, we need to cut facing for the waistline. A facing is a short version of what you're working on. So, what I did from the waist down, I measure two and a half inches in length. This is the one that is overlapping, then I cut just one piece of it. For the main skirt, I did the same, two and a half inches in length. Okay, but in this case, I cut two pieces of it, front and back. To join together, I'm going to place the overlapping facing. This one, I'm going to place right side to right side on this, then stitch at the side. Then I'll take the other part also, right side to right side. I'll just stitch down. So here it is after stitching down. So I'm going to place it on the skirt now, right side facing right side. I'm going to push the ruffles backward like this before placing it. Then I'll make sure I'm not stitching on the rope. So I'll just place it like so. Then stitch down till I get to the other side. Okay, then when I get here, I'm going to stitch also like this, vertically, like so, like this. I'll do the same to the other side also. 
I'm done stitching then I cut the corner so that when I turn it it will lay flat all right then the edge of the facing can actually overlock it or you roll hem it like two times like so And that thing you can do to the facing after turning it inward like this so to stay in place. You stitch it down. You can use your anidu or your machine to just stitch it at the side seam. And here it is looking nice. I went ahead and placed a snap button here at the waist so that you to hold it in place like so. Okay, so now I'm going to overlap it like this. Then I will knot the rope. And that is it, guys. Let me place it on my dress home for you to see. Here it is guys please don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you so much for watching till i come your way again bye for now